What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back from the PT channel to talk about Fear the Walking Dead, Season 4, Episode 3. Review, recap, discussion, obviously spoiler warning if you haven't seen the episode as we're going to talk about it and discuss it. If you haven't seen the episode, I don't want to ruin anything for you. So stop watching now if you haven't seen the episode of Season 4, Episode 3 of Fear the Walking Dead. Now, I watched the episode and I was shocked how it ended. What did you think, guys? Post your comments below. But if you love The Walking Dead like we do, join our Walking Dead family by hitting that subscribe button to the PT channel. And I hope you do become a valued member of our channel. Now, I liked Nick and Morgan, them coming together. We'll talk about the shocking ending in a second. But I like the idea of Morgan and Nick from the trailer coming to the show, them interacting. And some things were kind of annoying. But Morgan and Nick, they were fighting and then they were working together. But I like the interaction with them when Morgan trips him and smacks him with the bow staff. But why didn't you just shut off the horn on the SWAT truck? Not sure if you broke it, the switch or whatever, but clearly they stopped the horn. Not sure why Morgan didn't turn that off. But either way, that's what happened. And we see stuff like this on the show a lot. But Morgan doing his karate stuff, according to Nick. But I like Morgan trying to open up a little bit. But then he's like, what am I have to talk to you for? I'm not doing this right now. I don't need to explain anything to you. And he's right. Morgan doesn't know these people. He doesn't owe them anything. He wants to be left alone. But he's wounded, so he needs their protection and he can't get around. That's probably why he got wounded, because he can't just leave. The SWAT truck was swarmed by a bunch of walkers. We had the horn, reminding me of back of season six of The Walking Dead with the wolves. Also, the protein bar Nick had was peanut butter, a nice callback with Michonne and Morgan and Rick. I just like those connections, and they're doing that more and more each episode, and I like to see that. And I was a little unsure what Strand was trying to do when Athea was taking out the walkers so Alicia could hook up the SWAT truck with the uh, cable. And I'm glad he didn't try anything, but Strand is, you know, a shyster. You gotta watch him. He's gonna look out for Strand no matter what. So we'll see what happens with Strand later on this season. But he survived, and most people did, except at the very end. Big shocker. I'll talk about that. Don't worry, guys. But I want to see the group working together, and I'm not really liking the then and now and then and now and this and that and where they're jumping around a lot. But we'll see if it makes sense, especially the way the episode ended in the now section. What's it going to matter for the then section? But Morgan tried to talk some sense into Nick. Nick didn't listen and killed the vulture. Then he gets shot. So everything comes back around. You get what you give. Karma, universal connections for sure. I like the idea of Morgan trying to pass his knowledge around, but too little too late, I guess. And it's a shocker that Nick got shot because he's one of the original cast. I thought the show was basically about him, but clearly it's about Madison now. And I like Nick. It's a shame, but him getting shot was a shocker. Or they doing it for shock value to set things up. But I just don't like the idea of them putting so much emphasis on this girl, Charlie. To me, I'm watching it and they're like, don't worry, we'll get her back, Madison says. And I'm like, who cares? Who cares about this girl? There's so many other problems like feeding your people, safety, security, walkers. Just so many things about this one kid. I just don't get it. But Nick coming out of his comfort zone, being forced to leave the safety and security of the stadium, we saw he was struggling with that. And ultimately, he didn't want to leave because of the people, the situations that are put out here. And I kind of agree with him. Look where it got him. If he didn't run into that guy, and we saw Charlie with the radio and all that stuff, and it's just like so frustrating. So Nick got shot. I don't think he's going to make it. I mean, he got shot in the chest. He was laying there still. And then the episode kind of ended. They were all upset, so I don't think he's going to make it. Not sure they had a doctor anyway, plus he's got a bullet in his chest. It's just a shame that Nick's going to die, most likely. Nick, to me, really brought a lot to the show early on in the series. Nick and Daniel were my favorite characters, and now Nick's going to go. They're putting a lot of faith in the new characters to carry the show. We'll see what it means, but I just don't like the idea of Charlie being an emphasis of things. She was there as a spy. I could see them trying to help her and work with her and go forward, but clearly her allegiance is to the vultures. She was saved by that guy with the El Camino car. Not sure his name. Don't really care. He's gone anyway. 
Charlie's going to be around a pain in the butt problem going forward. She shot Nick, a main character. This character of Charlie has been there for three episodes now on the entire series. Nick was the first person we saw in the series. And to me, I find it frustrating that the show had the writing to have this child kill one of the main characters of the series. That's a big step. That's kind of like killing Carl in The Walking Dead. But I don't know what they're doing and why they're doing it and what, again, the writers are trying to do. But either way, Nick looks to be gone. It's a shame because I like Nick and I like Daniel. We haven't seen Daniel at all this season. Not sure we will. Maybe he'll come back around. But since Nick looks to be going out, hopefully Daniel comes back around. But why can't we have both these characters? I don't know. Daniel is liked by a lot of people. Not sure what happened with Dan, if we're going to see him in a flashback or he's still around or he comes and helps the group out. But either way, I would love for him to come back to the show. How about you guys? Are you liking the episode? What would you think of season four, episode three? They're putting a lot of faith in these new characters to carry the show. I like John. I like Althea. I like Morgan. I'm not really buying the idea that Althea can just record all these people. Does she have a bunch of batteries? Can she charge the batteries? Electricity is at a premium. Also, the SWAT truck that's probably a gas guzzler. How are you gassing that thing up? But again, the Walking Dead universe of the Walking Dead and Fear of the Walking Dead, they don't have any problems with gasoline or essential things like that. But they, we just have to be, you know, escaped into that world and I guess look past those things. But either way, guys, what did you think of the episode, season four, episode three? I thought it was good. I thought it was a good episode. I thought I liked the idea of them bringing the new characters with the old characters and connecting going forward. But I'm kind of confused. If you're going to kill Nick off in the now, what do we care about the then for? I don't care about that character anymore because I know in the future he's going to be killed off. So the flipping back and forth, that's what I get out of it. What did you think of season three, episode four? Post your comments below. I'm kind of frustrated that Nick got killed, kind of annoyed by it. Like I said, Nick and Daniel were my favorite characters, started to like Travis, and then they kill him off. They're going to keep Madison around probably for the entire series. I'm not a big fan of that character, but that's what they do. They keep annoying characters on for a lot longer than the characters that I actually like. So I'm kind of frustrated with the series. What do you think, guys? Post your comments below. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook and YouTube, of course, at the PT channel. We have another channel, The Walking Dead News. We have more and more content going there. We focus more on the PT channel right now, but we have live streams every Sunday on The Walking Dead News. We have a goal of 100,000 subscribers on both channels. When we hit 2,000 subscribers on The Walking Dead News, we have a prize giveaway quiz for subscribers. You gotta be a subscriber of both channels to be eligible. And remember guys, believe in yourself. If you can dream it, you can do it.